Hey everyone, thanks again for joining me on Sewed for Good. Today I'm talking about waterproofing the entire floor of a bathroom versus the shower alcove only. And when should you be doing either one of them? Well, I'm gonna tell you. You might think because I'm a manufacturer, I'm gonna tell you to do the whole floor. I'm gonna tell you that you should always do the whole wet area floor because it's best practice. And we are always about ensuring the industry is doing the best things to get the best outcomes. Now, if you look at the standard, it tells you that 1500 mil out from the shower head is the exposure where you need to waterproof the shower alcove and beyond that. But that would mean you'd be putting a water stop in many times in the middle of a bathroom floor. It'd be overly sight and we don't recommend it. However, people tend to think, okay, I'm on a concrete floor, I'll just waterproof the shower alcove, put their water stop at the shower alcove instead of actually taking it out to the whole floor. Now, re regardless if it's a concrete floor uh, or a structural sheet flooring, suspended or ground floor, waterproofing the whole wet area floor is the practice you should be recommending your builder. Those builders that are watching, that's how you should be offering that to your client. Why? Because where there's water, there's the potential for damage. And where you've got water into absorbent surfaces and concrete is absorbent, you'll still get capillary action and water potentially penetrating into other rooms. Tanking the whole bathroom is best practice. If there's an overflow, if there's a blockage, if there's whatever could be happening to the vanities, the baths or the showers over time, the whole floor is protected underneath those tiles. You contain the water inside that bathroom area with the water stop at the doorway. That's where you want to make sure that's happening. And as a secondary, if required, you'd use it in the shower alcove as well. But just because you might use it in the shower alcove, doesn't mean you shouldn't be using it at the doorway. Water stops is a whole different one that I'll go through in a, on another episode of Silver for Good. But that whole picture that many of you seen that I'm showing now with the standard showing the 1500 mil from the shower head, that in practice doesn't work. And if you want to be part of the change with us, start to promote the use of wet area waterproofing to the whole floor, like you would with the balcony. With the balcony floor, we don't just waterproof a meter and a half outside the sliding door, we tank the whole area. Think of the bathroom in the same way as a balcony, that'll give the best outcome, and it'll ensure that we keep raising the bar with this industry. If you've got any thoughts on this one, throw them my way, we'd love to hear some engagement in the contact. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time on Silver Good.